speech. Cambridge University alumni are withdrawing donations due to an intensifying row after the master of Gonville and Caius College publicly denounced a guest speaker over the views on sex and gender. Now, the college's master denounced the speaker, dubbing her views hateful and insulting. Now, this all led to a number of student protesters turning up to demonstrate outside the talk, chanting, trans rights are human rights. So for the Great British Debate this hour, I'm asking, are universities still bastions of free speech? Let's see what my panel make of that. I'm joined by author and broadcaster Christine Hamilton and also former editor of the Labour List, Peter Edwards. Right, so Christine, what were your university days like? I imagined you, you did go, did you, or did you not go? I did, I went to York. Yes. Um, and I remember there, uh, it, was, it was at the, terribly old, it was the very end of the 60s and university students were revolting all over the place. They were burning barricades in Paris and goodness knows what. So uh, I was, it was quite, York was a very left-wing university, very left-wing. I mean, the Labour Party were way, way to the, to the, um, to the left of most of them, uh, to the right of most of them. Uh, and I can remember being asked in a lecture, now, Christine, what are the views of the Conservatives? And I thought, I was outraged then, which is, it's got nothing to do with it, what my political views were. I was known to be a Conservative because I was a, an officer of the Conservative Association, which was actually quite big. Um, so, but now, I mean, it's got ridiculous. I first became aware of this closing down of debate at universities when, of all people, um, oh dear, her name's gone out of my head, the bra-burning lady. Oh, Germaine Greer. Uh, Germaine Greer. When Germaine Greer was cancelled at a university, I can't remember if it was Oxford or Cambridge, and I just thought... This is nonsensical when she can be cancelled. And I was interested in your debate just now. Um, I, Fred, I forget the gentleman's name. If students get together as a body and say, we do not want this person to come and speak at our mm. union, that is one thing. But for the academics mm. to say, you shall not have this person to speak, I think that is, it is grotesque. And everything's, it's all, it's... It's too paternalistic, and why should the, what, what's her name, Pippa, Pippa Rogerson, who's the master mm. of the college, mm. why should she tell the students who they can have to speak and who they can't? I mean, it's outrageous. Well, to it's, me, it's completely outrageous what the 